Hello again, Pre-K. Now it's time to concentrate on our math for today. So you know, we always start out our class with what is today's date? So when you are watching this video, it is going to be Monday. So let's spell the word Monday as today's day of the week. M O N D A Y Monday and you can take the time out to sing your days of the week song that I know we all love so today's day is Monday but today's date is March that's the name of the month that we are currently living in and the date the number of the day in March is 30 three zero and the year is 2020 and remember that when we are writing the date we have the month March the date 30 and this little guy here is, is we call it a comma it separates the date from the year and our year is 2020 2020 so that's the day Monday and that's the date but before we broke um, and we have this extended homeschool learning we were learning about clocks and we were learning about an analog clock and an analog clock you can see it at home we have one in the classroom when you're going to the stores you may see one on the um, wall if your dad is wearing a watch or your mom is wearing a watch or you have a watch, you have a small analog clock that you can tell time with. Now, time is a measure of what um, hour or minutes are in the day, okay? So the analog clock is a circle, okay? And we measure the hours by numbers. So we start out here and we are going to start with number 12. Number 12 will indicate old clock. And when we say old clock, it means that it is starting a new hour. So as we proceed through our analog clock, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay? And the shorthand would indicate the hour and the long hand will indicate minutes. Okay, we will get to minutes in one second. So if my long hand is on the 12 and my short hand is on the three, is facing the three, that means that it's three o'clock. Now it can be, we talked about this pre-K, we talked about it can be three o'clock a.m or it can be three o'clock p.m. So when it, if it's three o'clock a.m., remember we had fun time saying we will be sleeping? <sighs> we'll be sleeping because it's like in the middle of the night when it's three o'clock a.m. But if it's three o'clock p.m., that's where we would still be in class, probably doing a project or free centers at three o'clock. So three o'clock would be in the daytime. So you have daytime hours and then you have nighttime hours early hours in the morning and afternoon hours in the evening so there's a whole lot to talk about when we're going to talk about time this week now let's talk about these little insy bincy lines that you see between the hours those are called minutes, okay? 
Now, one interesting thing, and we talked about this as well, Pre-K, that we have one minute is made up of 60 seconds. So if we count from one to 60, we will have counted one minute. Then we have five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 35 minutes, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, 50 minutes, 55 minutes, 60 minutes, we have an hour. And as you notice, when I was counting, I was counting by fives. And you know how to count by fives. So telling time can be a little tricky. For today, you will have a sheet that has several clock faces, okay? And I just want you to go around and ask your parents questions. Mom, what time do we wake up in the morning? Um, eight o'clock. So you go and you write eight o'clock. You draw the hands, the short hand on the eight and the long hand on the 12, because remember, 12 means o'clock. So you can ask your parents several times a day where you do several things and then fill in your boxes in your math worksheet today. If you have any questions, send them to me on Hi Mama. Okie dokie. Bye-bye.